What's up, guys? It's Brent with Likens Motorsports. I've got the front end tore off of uh, old uh, OJ here. And um, got the engine back, had a few minutes to, to work on it. Pulled uh, the timing cover, uh, the balance for the timing cover, and all the tensioners and guides and chains, and the cams. And if you notice, no valve springs here, so I'm able to um, freely move things as I need to. Um, the reason for doing this is uh, crank is at top dead center, piston is at top dead center. Number one piston is at top dead center. And I can measure valve drop at top dead center. So there's not much um, on the intake valve, I have about 200 thousandths, and on the exhaust valve, I have 285. So I've uh, put some uh, lobes together that I think would be good for, for this engine right now. And uh, I sent um, one of my, my contact over at Bullet Cams an email to see if he can be some dimensions. Um, lift at top dead center and, and some other things that I need to see if we can make some big cams work with the factory piston. So uh, we will be looking at that shortly. Um, everything was really clean in here, even after um, even after the dyno session. Everything's in good shape until I drop everything. But um, took the followers off, and um, I do have some GT followers that I'm going to put back in here. And um, I'm, I'm going to run as big of a cam as, as I can, just to see what the factory heads are capable of. But uh, everything's, everything's in good shape. I'll probably, what I'll do is um, I got some adjustable cam gears coming, comp cams, adjustable gears. I've also got a hardened gear for the crank, and I'll probably go ahead and replace um, the front end with some good quality parts because I can reuse all that on the next iteration, and I'll want some some pretty uh, beefy things for, for that iteration. So everything looks good here. There's no wear in the head where the cam rides, nothing to uh, to raise a flag that things aren't going well. Everything, everything looks really good. So good thing about the 4.6, it gives me this nice tray to lay out all my parts in. So, um, I don't know why people hate this motor so bad. So, um, you know, I put up a video of the dyno session the other day, and my goodness, the amount of hateful comments coming from people. I mean, if you don't, if you're not interested in this, don't watch. It's it's pretty pretty cut and dry. It's simple. Um, the amount of people telling me that I'm uh, being dishonest. <laughs> and wasting my money, wasting my time. So, uh, I guess that's the internet, right? People think that their opinions are uh, valuable to everybody else. I don't know. So, show this real quick. This is a, um, this is the 511 with the Epi Power heads. You can tell those by the exhaust port pretty much being straight out instead of down. Um, I've got just a little bit more work to do on that. Um, all the carburetors and everything I need to plumb up and get my tunnel ram linkage going. Got some spacers coming. Um, so I did get the intake manifold back from being milled. It is bolted down. This one is not bolted down yet because I've got to do some drilling and tapping on, on here for our tunnel ram linkage mount. So, a little bit more work, but uh, I foresee this one being on the dyno in a couple of weeks. So, this one ought to make a lot of horsepower, and I'm looking forward to it. 
But uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, didn't take me long to zip off the front end and uh, get the followers out and all that stuff. So we should be well into backing into a new pair of cams. So with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out. And uh, plan on making a few more ponies. Um, so one of the things that I was skewered for um, was I mentioned that we picked up a lot of horsepower over the factory setting. And one gentleman uh, was very quick to point out that um, I was being dishonest with uh, how I was rating things because the factory was rating their engines net and um, with all the accessories and all that stuff. So that's probably true. And we could even compare that to chassis dynos if we wanted to, but I don't know of any factory uh, numbers gross floating around there. If anybody does, feel free to share those without being hateful. And um, from what I saw, you know, the factory rated these at 260. We got 315. Okay, that was that was a bump. So, you know, my my intent is to not be um, falsifying information or dishonest or anything like that. I'm just calling it how I see it. So, again, for some reason, people absolutely hate the two valve 4.6 liter motors, and um, basically go around from channel to channel expressing how much they hate it. So um, a lot of people living in their mother's basements that need to get out and enjoy the fresh air and the grass and all that sort of thing. Hope you guys are doing well. And I should have some updates for you next week on that 511 FE. Um, I should have most of it knocked out next week. So we will uh, revisit that a little bit later. Hope you guys are having an excellent weekend. Take care. I'll see you soon.